Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. Today we're working on number 23 on the new general curriculum math subtest. It's a nice problem um, involving algebraic equations, ratios, and an algebra word problem. So we'll start by reading it over and sort of working through some of the math that's involved. All right, let's start by always reading it over and visualizing what's going on in the problem. Here we go. It says here, the ratio of adults to children on a bus was 4 to 1. When 15 adults got off at the next stop and no one else got on, the ratio of adults to children became 5 to 2. Which of the following equations could be used to find C, the number of children on the bus? And, and we have these different equations going on here. There's a lot of math here. but. But for a moment, let's just pull ourselves away from match the equation stuff and, and interpreting this right for a moment. And let's just focus in on understanding the problem, just, just from that point here. First, we're dealing with ratios, ratios of adults to children. And we, we could think of uh, ratios like uh, as 4 to 1, or we could write it as like 4 dot dot 1, or we could write it as a fraction. We could write it as 4 over 1. So 4 dot dot 1, 4 2 1, 4 over 1, they all mean the same thing. And in this ratio, a ratio is something that compares two different things, like apples to oranges, feet to inches, adults to children. In this one right here, the top is adults, the bottom is children. I'll re -write, rewrite that. The top is adults, the bottom is children, because the top is adults because the first one is adults, followed by children. This initial setup helps you identify that the bottom is going to be matching up with children and the top of this fraction is going to be matching up with adults. Very important that you can set that up correctly. Now we go to the second part, which is a little trickier. It's taking this ratio and expressing it using some variables. They give us one of the variables. They say C represents the number of children. So if we wanted to make an equivalent fraction, one, if one represents uh, children, we could say C uh, represents the number of children. And we can see in this ratio here that there's four times as many adults as children. So if C represents children and there's four times as many adults as children, I think it's fair to say that we could write it as 4C. Now what we've done is we've turned our ratio into an, an equivalent ratio, but now we're using algebraic variables and using that C as our starting point to find to express the number of adults in terms of C. Now what do we do to that first bus? Well, there's a stop and 15 adults get off. So now we have 4C minus 15 over C, and that's going to be equivalent to 5 over 2. So now, this thing right here in the box, this represents how many uh, adults and children are on that bus after the second stop. And that's equivalent to a new ratio of 5 to 2. If you look closely at A, you'll see that A matches up with what we have here. Let's analyze A, analyze the parts. The bottom here is the number of children, so C represents the number of children. 4C represents the number of adults at the first stop. 4C minus 15 represents the adults after the second stop because 15 got off. And this whole thing right here, this, this whole part, represents the ratio of adults to children after the second stop. The answer here, team, is A. A matches up. Now, in working through this problem, I think this sentence here was the most important to work out, the initial setup of our ratio, that adults go on the top, children on the bottom, and that initially lined up with 4 over 1. Uh, in evaluating these ones right here, these, exp these answers that are not correct, you'll notice that um, this one right here puts children on the top, and this one puts children on the top. And our ratio, and the way we've set it up, and the way the problem's presented, is putting adults on the top. So for that reason right there, if you're thinking it's adults to children, and that's all you got from, from setting it up, is that you know that adults go on top, 
and children go on the bottom, you could have eliminated C and D. And that's going to, again, increase your chances of getting A correct. All right? So make sure you're not only able to set this thing up, but also you're able to see very quickly, just by doing this initial step, why C and D are wrong. All right, team. The answer here is A. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye. Team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Academy. Welcome to the 2017-2018 Teacher Workshop Series. This year we're holding workshops in math, science, English and history, early childhood education, foundations of reading, ESL and SEI. These are hands-on workshops designed to help teachers pass their teacher certification exams. I encourage you to check them out. We're holding them in Massachusetts, New York, North Carolina, California, New Hampshire, Vermont, Connecticut, and a couple other states. I encourage you to check out an upcoming workshop. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care.